Well, Mark, uh, an exciting finish, 2-1 against Heaven, uh, a grand finale to uh, a game we dominated for long spells. Yeah, I think it would have been a travesty if we hadn't have come up with the three points. I was sort of scratching my head at half-time, wondering how we got in the position we got in, you know, from one ball, effectively, one ball over the top, and they've given us a little sight of before that as well, so I was a bit disappointed with the nature of the, of the goal that we conceded. But I thought for territory and for... You know, final third entries and all that sort of thing. We were well on top in the first half, so I was really frustrated. But we were really calm about it. We sort of said, keep doing the same things, you'll get the chances. And as the game got more stretched, I thought we became more and more into it. So those last 20, 25 minutes, we started to open them up at yeah. will. And we actually played some really good stuff. We played some, we played probably a little bit more than we have done in terms of being out from the back or the centre house having, having contact on the ball than we have done. Because I thought with them playing with one striker, we might be able to get out a little bit more didn't always work for us but we still tried to do the right things and the two goals are everything I want us to be you know Josh like a bulldozer down this side isn't yeah. he he provides some quality um, Jamie Allen who's got better and better and better every game and when he went up front his runs are so clever he runs across the centre half he gives you little options to, to feed it into him his finish is so powerful, the keeper can only parry it into the goal. You yeah. know, it's a great finish. And the second one's the same. We've opened up down here again. Riggy, really clever. It's a carbon copy of the, the leak goal, isn't yeah, it? Was, Riggy, was really indeed. clever. And for young Ben, who's been dead patient, he's learning this level, he's trained with us. You know, we threw him on today because, you know, not because we were short numbers, we were. We were, we were on our feet at the end, but we knew that he might be able to offer us something in the final third. Yeah. And when he takes the second touch, I think, oh, has he taken too many? But what a finish yeah. and what a what an opportunity for him to, to score a goal at this end at Borough Park in front of 800-plus people. What a moment yeah. for him. Fantastic. Well, I spoke to him afterwards and, you know, you could feel the enthusiasm coming out. So young and, you know, a bit naive at this level, obviously, but uh, so pleased for the boy. And he'll get better. Yeah. He'll get the more exposure we can give him. He'll get better, but I want him to remember that feeling because that's that, you know that's what it's about. You know we're here to win football matches, but when you've got little stories and little little side stories oh, yeah. like that, I think his dad's a, his granddad's a photographer as well. That's he's right. catching it. So all them things, you know, what a great little story. So you know he's won us the game today. He's come off the bench to do that, and two cracking goals. But what about the one that uh, hit the crossbar? Uh, well, Tom Wilkinson's again, volley. Yeah, a little bit of quality from Josh in terms of yeah. delivery. And, and 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 at that point, I'm starting to think, oh my God, is this not going to happen? Yeah. You know, I was re I actually was really calm at half time. I thought we'll, we'll get on top of this. We'll get chances. You know, I thought it was probably a game for Dav, which is annoying when he's in Greece. But I thought it was it was it was opening up in, in pockets where Dav would usually be, and he would probably have got lots of the ball today. So hopefully he's back and, and ready on Saturday. Um, and I thought Kai really came to life as it got stretched as well. So what we are is we've got lots of enthusiasm about us, haven't we? And we never stopped. And that's that was my challenge to them at half time. I was like, right, what what are you willing to do today to go and try and win a game of football? And what I would say is, uh, as much as you know, the players will take the, the plaudits for how they've played and how they've got stronger as the game went on. I thought when we equalised, all of a sudden the crowd here at Borough Park thought, well, hang on then. You know, we've got a role to play as well. And I thought they started to drag us, you know, towards the top yeah. end of the pitch. I thought every time the ball broke down and we were in a bit of space and we, we it's jumped forward. one of those forward. where it works both ways, Absolutely, it? we jumped forward, but all of a sudden we'd given them something to shout That's about. That's right. And I thought they, they were, you know, just as just as important to us to, to get us over the line as well. So it feels like a big win. It feels like a big win. You know, we, we, we've, we've played the team that we've, have had probably one of the outstanding starts of this league. But yeah. I thought we were, we were more than good enough to win the game. How do you approach the second game then? You've, you've got the better of them today. Uh, FA Cup, we all want an FA Cup run. Um, do you approach it any differently? I think both sides will be different. I think I think they'll be different. I think they'll, they've got three or four that are due to come back that they'll hope to get over the line. Yeah. We've certainly got at least two that we expect to play. I mean, the, the, the new signing won't play because he's cup tied, but we, we think we've got about two, maybe three back. So... Personnel-wise, I think the teams might look a little bit different. There'll be a chance to freshen things up. Will the game play different? We don't know, you know. That, yeah. But we, we will go with some confidence that we know we can do the job, and we know that you know I, I'm not. I won't be surprised if there's a change of shape from them or a change of shape from us because you're trying to find a, you know, you're trying to find something different, aren't you? But we'll go in there with confidence that 
you know, if we can get a big crowd here behind us as well, it, it will give us the best possible chance. Uh, on the subject of personnel, uh, one uh, star signing coming in. What about the uh, the two loans that we've had from uh, Gateshead? Well, Effie first, because he, he's been an absolute pleasure to work with in the last couple of days. I, I'm, I'm really disappointed that we... Not that we didn't get it over the line, because we did. We did everything we could have done, but yeah. the FA and the NPL, in their wisdom, decide that this isn't a midweek game. It's classed as a weekend, and therefore the deadline is Friday, 5 o'clock on a Friday, rather than four hours before the game, which it would be yeah, if we normally. were sat here tomorrow, for example. So I, I just think that the, the pace and the professionalism of football clubs and football at this level has outpaced the professionalism of, of, the, of the administration. You yeah, know. Yeah. Um, you know, what if we'd have needed an emergency goalkeeper because of illness or injury or whatever? So anyway, um, that's for another day. But FA is a, a top signing, a really top signing. He'll give us an opportunity to play as a holding midfield player. He can play as a centre half. He's in unbelievable condition. I've seen him doing backflips on Twitter in the last couple of weeks. So yeah. he's in unbelievable nick. He knows the game inside out. He's, he's so positive about being here. He was in there with the lads at the end, you know, he'll be a great signing for us. And I think he's one that, you know, the fans will look at and think, wow, you know, that's another really experienced player to kick us on. We're going to get better and better. And um, the two boys from Gateshead, one's ill, so Ben Williams ill. Um, but we're in discussions with Gateshead about what what the best options for them are moving forward. Obviously, the FA signing maybe, maybe changes the complexion of it. Uh, we've got to consider their well-being in terms of the distance they've got to travel and all that sort of thing. Um, so it's an emerging picture. We'll wait and see what happens the next couple of days. Um, but we didn't include one today, and the other one was was unwell. So right. we'll, we'll see how that develops in the next couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Sorry, next couple of days. Uh, and any injuries? The uh, Lords. stock question. Lords. Um, yeah, I mean, the few the last off. thing we wanted to do was bring Stephen Swinglehurst on today because we want to, you know, we want to try and look after him if we can. But what I would say is, when he came on, didn't he make us feel a little bit more assured? from his organisation, his leadership, the fact that he won a couple of key headers yeah. at key times. So, I mean, you look tonight, we've had to use Cass in the back three, which we didn't want to have to do. So we're, we're a little bit bare bones as well as they are. And I expect both teams to, to freshen up, if you like, before uh, before the weekend. But we've we've hopefully got a little bit of resource to be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, well done today, Mark. Part one completed, part two on the horizon. It is. Thank you.